in the name of allah the most merciful and beneficent respected viewers assalamu alaikum here is me saira banu my role number is 19 presenting the information on topic that is waste water treatment using natural resources submitted to uh, respected dr hamad and i am from ms chemistry department semester 1 my topic is waste water treatment using natural resources Uh, in this topic i will tell you about how we can treat the waste water using natural resources like uh, plants and aquatic animals uh, these are used for the treatment of waste water industrial waste water rather than the conventional method uh, that are the primary secondary and tertiary so on uh, in these uh, slides we will discuss about the treatment by using natural resources so firstly what is industrial waste water in general Textile wastewater is a complex mixture and is highly variable, comprising many polluting substances. It is a mixture of different types of dyes and auxiliary products such as surfactants, fixing agents, oxidizing agents, uh, rec uh, recalcitrant, chlorinated compounds, salts, heavy metals, dispersing agents, and smoothing agents, etc. Compounds that may be both persistent and toxic. Waste waters are highly colored due to the presence of the dyes that have not been fixed to the fiber during the dyeing process. They are usually also characterized by high level of chemical oxygen demand, biochemical oxygen demand, pH, salinity, temperature, turbidity, toxic chemical compounds, total dissolved solids and total suspended solids. Furthermore, many textile dyes or byproducts are themselves toxic, carcinogenic, mutagenic and are teratogenic these are the terms which are related to the waste water and uh, how we can treat them how we can purify the water it will be discussed in the upcoming slides so here is a flow chart describing the effects of waste water on our environment so textile waste water discharge of to the environment can cause two types of effect firstly direct effect and then the indirect effect what happened in the direct effects indirect effects aesthetic problems change of color poor sunlight penetration in the receiving water damage flora fauna of the ecosystem flora is related to the animals and fauna is related to uh, sorry flora is related to the uh, plants and fauna is related to the animals ground water uh, pollution due to the leaching of the contaminant through soil DO stands for dissolved oxygen depletion of receiving water suppression in the streams reoxygenation capacity what are its indirect effects first one is killing of aquatic life such as fishes plants mammals through the heavy metals uh, as uh, i have earlier uh, told you waste water contain heavy metals these heavy metals destroy the aquatic life such as fishes and plants and mammals then eutrophication is the enrichment of nutrients of the water colored allergen accelerates genotoxicity and microtoxicity suppression of immune system of human beings first one is the coagulation flocculation process this is the uh, so called manual process of the waste water treatment and what happened in it uh, let me discuss it First one coagulation flocculation is the most widely used technique in industrial waste water treatment worldwide because it is relatively simple and inexpensive to operate it has been reported that egyptians were using aluminum sulfate which is termed as alum to cause suspended particles to settle in the water as early as 1500 bc today The coagulation uh, flocculation process is a vital step in the removal of the colloidal particles, natural organic matter, microorganisms, and inorganic ions present in unreacted water. These are its inherent disadvantages. First one is generation of large quantities of chemical sludges, which are ha hazardous waste products. Increase the total dissolved salts content in the treated waste water. Increases desalination cost. coagulants aids increases the density of the slow settling flocks and add toughness to the flocks so that they do not break up during the mixing and settling process these are the disadvantages of the coagulation flocculation process uh, and 
that is the reason why we use natural resources uh, rather than these mineral resources cf stands for coagulation flocculation mechanism the process of co uh, coagulation uh, destabilization of collider particles may occur through four types of mechanism first one is absorption and bridging then double layer compression then charge neutralization and afterward sweep co uh, coagulation in absorption and bridging uh, as the name indicates waste uh, materials are absorbed in this then double layer compression uh, afterward neutralization occur in it and at the end uh, coagulation occurs and water become purified what are chemical coagulants the coagulation flocculation process is a complex phenomena that involves several interrelated parameters such it is very important to choose the right coagulant the most common inorganic coagulants are aluminum and iron salt such as aluminum chloride aluminum sulfate iron chloride and iron sulfate etc due to their low cost ease of use handling storage and mixing properties these are the properties which make the use of these salts for the waste water treatment as the coagulants chemical coagulants classification of coagulants chemical coagulants can be categorized into the three groups the first group is hydrolyzing metallic salts second one is pre hydrolyzing metallic salt and the last one is synthetic cationic polymers first one hydrolyzing metallic salt is further divided into ferric chloride ferric sulfate magnesium chloride and alum pre hydrolyzing metallic salts are divided into poly aluminum chloride which stands at pacl polyferric chloride pfcl polyferrous sulfate pfs polyaluminum ferric chloride last one synthetic cationic polymers are divided into amino methyl polyacryl amide polyalkylene polyamine and polyethyl amine these are the chemical coagulants which are divided into three categories so it is the schematic category of chemical coagulants by their efficiency next what are the natural coagulants plant based coagulant for uh, before this i have discussed the chemical coagulants which are iron chloride iron sulfate aluminum chloride or aluminum sulfates uh, that are used for the waste water treatment as a coagulant and now i will discuss about the plant based coagulants which can be used for the treatment of waste water so why we need plant based coagulants uh, if we have chemical coagulants the answer to this question is that in view of the need to overcome the drawback of inorganic coagulants and synthetic polymers associated with growing environmental concerns worldwide there is a need to consider other potential alternatives for textile waste water treatment in order to minimize environmental damage and improve the well-being of human population therefore researchers have shown significantly more interest in the development of the natural polymers as coagulants in recent years these are the reasons why we use plant based coagulants rather than the chemical coagulants because these are minimize the environmental damage as you know chemicals can uh, damage our environment in variety of ways by forming a nascent oxygen that is very uh, destroy uh, full and uh, damage our environment so we use plant based coagulants rather than the chemical coagulants classification chemical coagulants uh, uh, same like chemical coagulants these coagulants can also be classified into uh, further categories the first one is cationic then anionic and non anionic and hence are also termed as poly electrolytes examples of natural cationic polymers are kystosan and cationic uh, starches while some examples of anionic polymers are sulfated polysaccharides and modified lignin sulfonates starch and cellulose derivatives are examples of non ionic natural polymers these are used as a coagulant in waste water treatment mechanism of action how these coagulants work what are uh, the actions of their mechanism so natural coagulants generally exhibit two types of mechanism first one is adsorption and charge neutralization second one is adsorption and interparticle bridging in chemical 
coagulant deposition we have discussed four methods but in plant coagulants there are only two methods involved in the mechanism of action this is uh, the one more extra reason why we use plant based coagulants rather than the chemical coagulants adsorption and charge neutralization can occur when suspended particles in solution soaps to oppositely charged ions while interparticle bridging occurs when polysaccharide chains of the coagulants can attach to multiple particles so that particles are bound to the coagulants and need not contact one another what does the word sob mean sob is the adsorption of the material on the surface of the solvent the existence of the adsorption and interparticle bridging between dye molecules and polysaccharide is due to the interaction of pi electron system of dyes and hydroxyl group of polysaccharides this is the uh, equation showing uh, the interaction of pi electrons from dye molecule with hydroxyl group of the polysaccharides how polysaccharides act as a coagulant uh, to control the pi electrons of the dye Uh, to remove the waste material from the water this is the classification of the natural coagulants so natural coagulants can be classified as plant based animal based microorganisms based what are plants uh, plant based natural coagulants so plant based natural coagulants are further classified as vegetables and legumes fruit waste uh, tree and others tree uh, this word is basically tree and animal based coagulants are further divided into further categories and microorganism can be bacteria viruses and fungi etc plant based coagulants on industrial wastewater treatment uh, here are some examples of the coagulants uh, the type of wastewater they treat and their removal parameter what they remove from the wastewater first one is moringa oleifera seed uh, it is a plant based coagulant which is used to Uh, treat the landfill uh, landfill leachate water and it removes heavy metals such as iron 100% copper and cadmium 98% and lead 78.1% respectively it also remove uh, also used to treat textile industry waste water uh, here it removes heavy metals like cadmium chromium manganese up to 100% purity turbidity 98.6% biochemical oxygen demand 11.7% it is also used to treat the water from palm oil mill effluents which is uh, can be denoted as pome used to remove suspended solids 99.2% chemical oxygen demand cod up to 52.5% second coagulant is kistosan it is used to treat oily product water and here it removes oil 96.35% and it is used to treat acid dyes here it removes ketosan as aid with polyaluminum chloride pac dye ab 292 52% it is a type of the dye and uh, it removes 52% of that dye from the waste water it is also used to treat waste water from milk processing plant and here it removes the turbidity up to 94.3% third one coagulant is osimum bacillum also termed as bacil used to treat landfill leachate and here it removes bacil as aid with alum cod 64.4% and color is 77.8% it increases the efficiency of the color up to 77.8% and the chemical oxygen demand is 64.4% it is also used to treat textile waste water and here it also removes bacil as aid with alum cod 76.4% and color 80.4% fourth one is banana pith banana pith uh, used to treat polluted river water and here it removes turbidity 98.5% cod 54.3% suspended solids 96.3% sulfates 98.9% nitrates 88.7% copper 100% chromium 100% iron 92% zinc 81% lead 100% and manganese 60% fifth one coagulant is carcorus olitorius l l is the naming uh, classification system so humic acid wastewater treat 
uh, is treated by this coagulant and here it removes turbidity 95.38% and total organic carbon uh, 100%. Op Opuntia fecus indica used to treat textile effluents and removes jeans laundry effluents COD 64.77% turbidity 91.26% fabric dyeing mill effluents COD 87.19% turbidity 93.62% Jetropha circus seed used to treat kaolin synthetic wastewater and it removes turbidity of 296% 8 one is cassia Optocifolia seed gum and it is used to treat POME I have told you earlier what is POME and it is used to remove it with alum total suspended solid 81.58% Nirmali seeds are used to treat laundry, uh, laundry wastewater and it removes TSS 5.5% uh, turbidity 95.5% then pectic of orange peel pith uh, used to treat surfactants and here it removes dual coagulants with nimali seeds turbidity 89.5% and TSS 81.5% 11 one is lateritic soil used to treat landfill leachate and it removes chemical oxygen demand 65.7% colority 1.8% ammonia 41.2 percent 12 one is jackfruit seed starch also termed as gss used to treat landfill leachate gss as aid with pac cod 26.85 percent rice starch pome tss 84.1 percent so it is a classification of different plant based coagulants which are used to treat different types of wastewater and uh, what they remove from the wastewater and uh, up to which extent their uh, percentage is also mentioned in this table next are the description of some plant based coagulants how they remove the chemicals present in the wastewater and what is their mechanism of action and what is their chemical composition let me discuss them one uh, one by one first one is tannin Tannin is a general name given to a large polyphenol compounds. It is water soluble polyphenolic anionic polyelectrolyte. Uh, I have earlier discussed the classification of plant based uh, coagulants and uh, anionic polyelectrolyte is a type of plant based coagulant and tannin is the uh, further classification of uh, this one plant based coagulant. Here is the chemical a structure of the tannin in aqueous solution p is the ligand charge particle in aqueous solution they are also found in some plants such as in the seeds of the cassia optocifolia and castini sativa trees studies have shown the efficiency of tannin as a coagulant and flocculant widely known and studied Tannin may be used as coagulant in the treatment of textile wastewater and can be modified for use as a cationic polyelectrolyte to remove anionic compounds. Moringa olifera. Moringa olifera is a trop uh, tropical plant found in Asia, India, Africa, and Latin America. It is reported that its seeds are used to clean turbid river water in rural communities. In African countries, it is the most studied natural coagulant in environmental sciences. Its coagulant uh, potential can be improved by the addition of the bivalent cations such as calcium and magnesium ions. It also can be used to improve the efficiency of other natural coagulants, satisfactory removal of turbidity caused by the pigment black 19, demonstrating that this species is one of the most Promising natural coagulant species for textile waste water. Osimum basilum. Osimum basilum is a popular known as basil and can be found in tropical regions in Asia, Africa, Central America, and South America. It has many different applications from uh, use as a condiment to applications in traditional medicine. Its seeds have been used in 
coagulation flocculation process and in this way it is used as a coagulant to remove the waste water treatment have shown good results when soaked in water the seeds create mucilage rich in pectin the seed extract in which is polysaccharides glucaminan uh, and uh, bonded xylan with a small proportion of glucon after polysaccharide extraction in water a viscous solution was obtained which was used as coagulant to treat textile waste water and congo red pigment solution when used on real textile waste water the removal was of 50.9 and 56.6 percent for color and cod respectively so uh, it is the description about the osimum bacillum uh, what does it remove from the waste water and what is the level of purity next is serous peruvianus uh, there are many studies with different cactus species describing their use as coagulant and flocculants mucilage extracts were applied to uh, test of uh, cf anova analysis was performed to measure the importance of sub significant factors these factors can be ph mucilage and inorganic coagulants mucilage concentration was significant for the removal of turbidity and cod next one is glycuronic acid ferritas et al in 2015 reported the presence of the glycuronic acid in nocara and esculentus where it is probably present in the polymer form poly glycuronic acid allowing it to provide a bridge to absorb particle by van der waals and coulomb's interaction these are the weak interactions between the solute and solvent particles here we can say that uh, these are the weak interactions between the waste materials and water molecules so below is the structure of poly glycuronic acid can interact in the coagulation flocculation process so p is a charged particle in aqueous solution no advantages and disadvantages of using plant based coagulant firstly i will uh, tell about the advantages then uh, we will discuss about the disadvantages of this uh, using these plant based coagulant advantages organic polymeric compounds have advantages over inorganic materials as they possess several novel characteristics such as their ability to produce large dense compact flocks that are stronger and have good settling characteristics natural polymers may potentially be applied not only in food and fermentation process and in uh, downstream processing but also in water and waste water treatment and they can be applied in textile waste water here is the flow chart showing the advantages of the uh, using plant based coagulant first one is sustainability natural abundant and renewable resources more eco friendly reduce chemicals dependency second one is sludge uh, and what is the effect of this sludge it reduced sludge volume biodegradable high nutritional sludge value disposing no treatment third one is nature of the coagulant so coagulant is non corrosive non toxic highly biodegradable and safe and its cost uh, it is uh, relatively cheaper lower sludge handling and treatment cost local materials and local label available locality no ph and alkalinity adjustments low procurement cost and generally abundant in sources lower coagulant uh, requirements and low cost hence it is a cheaper method using the plant based coagulant for the waste water treatment rather than the chemical uh, coagulants no i am going to discuss about the disadvantages of the plant based coagulants in waste water treatment first one is natural polymers are generally non toxic but synthetic polymers are more effective due to the possibility of controlling their properties such as the number and type of charge units and the molecular weight moreover due to their biodegradability natural polymers have a shorter storage life than synthetic polymers last one is substantial uh, substantial increase in the organic load of the treated water which may result in undesired and increased microbial activities having serious implications on subsequent disinfection process using chlorine here are the limitations challenges and perspectives in the uh, use of plant based natural coagulants 
constraints in the commercialization first one is financial core aspects in ensuring well marketing of new products financial support to cope with the present chemical coagulants research and development practical issues particularly on plant maintenance overcome research gaps between scientific and practical aspects of the studies next one is market awareness uh, in market awareness sustained susceptibility of consumers on natural coagulants prediction of realistic target size of the suppliers local competition well established market involving proprietary chemical coagulants difficult to break into the highly competitive field feasibility studies applicability in field and practice technology development support and recognitional so here it is limited recognition and urgency to use natural coagulants regulatory approval strict control existed over what has to be used in treatment of possible water might require excessive toxicology tests so these are the factors hindering the commercialization of natural coagulants aquatic animals in wastewater treatment uh, aquatic animals are are so used for the treatment of the wastewater um, by the process of bioaccumulation some aquatic animals like fishes of some types and other sea creatures have to accumulate the organic and inorganic contents present in the wastewater and help in purification of water the level of purity is not much high as all of the chemical substances are not removed by this these animals researchers are doing research on it for future use of these animals as at greater purity level conclusion to sum up my whole discussion uh, here i want to state that with the increased demand for textile products the textile industry and its wastewater have been increasing proportionality making it one of the main sources of this air pollution problems worldwide textile wastewater treatment is one of the most difficult environmental problem because it contains high color biochemical oxygen demand chemical oxygen demand ph temperature turbidity and toxic chemicals the direct discharge of this wastewater without previous or proper treatment into the water bodies like lakes rivers etc pollutes the water affect directly and indirectly the water how it affect directly and indirectly i have uh, told you earlier coagulation flocculation is one of the most widely used uh, uh, technology for the wastewater treatment as it is efficient and simple to operate this process is used for the removal of suspended and dissolved solids colloids and organic matter present in the industrial wastewater natural coagulants have been uh, attracting wide interest of researchers because they have the advantage of biodegradability uh, microorganism like uh, decomposers can easily decompose them uh, by releasing energy to the environment safe for human health environmental friendly generally toxic free and produce no secondary pollute, uh, pollution by not producing the secondary pollutants which are more harmful to the environment these coagulants are extracted from the natural and renewable resources such as microorganisms animals and plants not only this the sludge volume generated by the natural coagulants is smaller than chemical coagulants it can be further be treated biologically or can be disposed safely as soil conditioners because of their non toxicity the raw plant extracts are often available these are the references from where i have collected the data of uh, how we can treat the wastewater uh, industrial wastewater using natural resources which include uh, plant based coagulants and uh, their efficiency what uh, type of wastewater they treat and uh, which chemicals they remove from the wastewater and what is the level of the purity afterward i have discussed about uh, the animal based uh, coagulants uh, which aquatic plants are uh, which aquatic animals are used for the treatment of the wastewater so the whole data uh, i have collected from these research papers uh, from uh, different sites and these are the references to my the uh, to my presentation thank you so much for listening allah hafiz